Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, which at some point we are back again with another video and in today's video we have an iPhone 7 Plus model A1661 clock conversion with a typical common issue with the audio codec. As you can see, the red button is not uh, clicking because uh, there is an issue with the audio codec. Uh, in uh, older versions of the iOS it gives you an error with no audio device found, but in the iOS uh, 13 and up it just hangs on the red button uh, so um, i'm gonna do a typical uh, iphone 7 audio codec fix and uh, yeah that's it and enjoy okay now before we start i want to say that i'm going to talk about some stuff related with the audio codec disease in the end of this video and what is the best way to remove the audio ic chip and what can go wrong it happened with me a lot, so I want from you to learn from my mistakes. But anyway, we are going to jump to the process and I'm going to speed up the work and I will meet you after our job is done. So let's go.
is cooled down. Let's try our work. I know it's a uh, typical iPhone 7 problem, but uh, don't close yet. I'm going to, because I, I did not uh, open, open the schematics and the XW program to show you um, why this problem. But uh, everybody knows that it's a typical issue in the iPhone 7 with the other, other problems. But anyway, I'm going to also talk in the end of this video. So don't hang up yet. Okay, I'm just gonna connect the screen right here. I have a lot of work today, very, very much work, so basically it takes me like 30 minutes to done an audio coded job, if it's necessary to done it quickly. Here we are, let's open voice memos. And hello, 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 rastva, rastva, rastva. And as you can see, hello, hello, hello. The recording is working. And hello, 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 rastva, rastva, rastva. Everything is working fine. So, yeah, that's how I do uh, my audio quality jobs. As I said, this video is not uh, end yet. So be patient. Alrighty, now we've done our job. Let's jump to the board viewer program called ZXW Team. Just called ZXW, Zilon X Work. It's a shortcut for ZXW. And open the iPhone 7 Plus Qualcomm version 3.2. You can also open the Intel version. And for the iPhone 7, Intel or Qualcomm, it's not that big a difference. It's still the same IC and still the same problem. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple of stuff that happened with me a lot in the beginning, but I figured out what I'm doing wrong, and it's not that I'm saying you're doing it wrong, but in my opinion and my experience, which is not that big, uh, uh, but I'm trying to do my best, and I'm trying to help you to not fail to the same mistakes that I did. Anyway, first let's talk about the temperature. Now, I'm using a whole different hot air station uh, called Ayu. I guess I will put uh, the link for the hot air station that I'm using in this video uh, down in the description and I'm also going to put all the tools that I'm using in this video and my previous and previous videos also down in the description on every video and now for the temperature that I'm using I'm using uh, around 256 Celsius and for the air 68 now it's a little bit lower than the uh, original Quick 861DW1000 watt that I'm guessing everybody is using it. So it's a little bit higher for the Quick 861DW. I guess it's like 305 to 310 with the same air uh, to remove irregular ICs. Now uh, let's talk about the angles and from which angle you have to start to put your uh, hot air station or nozzle for the first. Now, if you have a uh, under black glue or as I call it, the compound uh, around the IC, first you have to do is just remove the compound under the IC and put a little bit higher temperature for the hot air station and uh, just try to um, let the nozzle uh, surround the, all the IC so you can just uh, give the temperature uh, for the IC itself not the other components because you need a little bit higher temperature you can just easily damage the IC the vibration controller or even worse you can damage the power management or even worse 
the NAN, but it's a uh, very, very, very high chance that you will not get uh, a high, a, a enough temperature for uh, the NAN to be damaged. But anyway, I'm using 256 temperature and I would like to uh, begin from this angle or from this angle so I cannot damage the control uh, vibration I see and believe me it happened with me a lot uh, after I've done my job with the audio IC the audio IC is still not working the vibration is working the tactic engine is working well but I damaged this little IC U303 uh, okay I'm gonna call it U3601 one of my worst nightmares <laughs> as a micro soldier because uh, I damaged this IC like three or four times and I panicked a lot. I'm just uh, after I've done the audio IC job, I'm starting panic. Oh my god, it's maybe uh, I've damaged the audio IC chip, maybe I've damaged uh, other stuff or around the uh, audio chip. So Again, I remove this chip and uh, measure all the pads <laughs> that in the audio codec with the uh, diode, in diode mode with my multimeter and believe me, it's a nightmare. So uh, if you done your audio IC job, yes, check all the pads and check the audio chip if you did not damage it. And don't forget to check this IC, this little bitch. Yes, this little bitch. I'm gonna call it this little bitch because it's one of the, my, my worst nightmares as a micro -solder. Now, you start with this and uh, from this angle or from this, or you can also start from this, from this angle also. Uh, don't panic, take your time, uh, don't rush, don't uh, damage the IC, it's very important. And for those who, uh, after removing the audio IC and uh, doing all the job very well uh, a lot of situations I've seen that uh, became with the no modem primer again even if you have an Intel version or Qualcomm and yes believe me if you put a lot and I mean a lot of high temperature on the audio IC I guess you are damaging the baseband power management not the modem it's very rare that happened that you have uh, to uh, do a reboot for the modem even if it was the baseband or the Intel version it doesn't matter I guess for me it happened like one time I guess which came for the uh, damaging the baseband power management so yeah uh, now you are going to say why this little chip is damaging and let the audio IC chip uh, don't work there is a line I guess over here for the PP1V8S DRAM goes to the resistor and goes to the I2C Homer SCL even the home button is working well and the vibration is working also uh, I mean everything is working normally still this chip is might be damaged so you have to change the, this IC like every time you seen you have done everything okay but still you have a, a non audio codec or non iPhone 7 working for the microphone so my guess is this I, this chip is uh, very 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 sensitive for everything I mean like everything if uh, if it was damaged in, on iTunes it will give you an error 7 uh, maybe it could uh, the vibration is not working I'm guessing this chip is also can be damaged so this chip is very 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 sensitive so this is my opinion for the iPhone 7 and which the best way and the safest way to remove the IC as I said don't rush take your time Put all the temperature around the IC, do not damage any other uh, components or any other uh, ICs around the chip. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I will post a lot of interesting videos in the future on my channel. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and yes guys, 
and I hope you enjoyed this video again. And for the next time, this one, same to you, peace out.